It is a big idea, a new world order. Bottom line, um, Musharraf had all of, that's the dictator of Pakistan, Central Asia. It's not a Muslim. I've heard all these people on talk radio this week going, just go ahead and nuke them Arabs. Listen, you ignorant fool. Listen, you phony conservative. You're the type that support Bush, gun control, and open borders. The phony type conservative. Shut up. Just shut your mouth until you know a thimble of information. I frankly don't have time for you anymore. You're not conservatives. You are un-American fake trash who go around feeling good about yourselves. You make me sick. That goes for you, too, you Hillary-supporting liberals. I remember all the so-called liberals supporting Clinton with all the murders and corruption and evil and Chinese generals and just all in the White House and sellouts of everything in the Panama Canal. And you'd still say, Bill Clinton's good. You're just a right-winger. And it's just like these idiot fake conservatives. I'll explain everything to them, give them the facts, and they go, you're just a liberal. Get past your, 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 your liberal conservative paradigm. It means nothing. There's a global elite that use psychology and sociology. They've written thousands of white papers publicly about how they're controlling you and dumbing you down and how they manipulate you. How did I know? I don't care how crazy it sounds anymore. In fact, get that clip ready again of the uh, CNN admitting implantable microchips for the Mexicans or people coming into Mexico. It's in the 2000 official army report in fact it was in the 2007 official official ministry of defense report put out by the british and they say that they're going to in increments set up a global police state that they're going to first put chips under your skin and they talk about how it took us 80 years from being an agrarian that is a rural farmer society to become a 90 plus percent city society now and they talk about how technology doubles every two years, and they say that by 2020, and that was in 2000, we're a lot closer to 2020 now, aren't we, that everyone will accept that the, that the, that the military will run everything, and, and now you go to NORTHCOM documents, you read SPP documents, they do. And they, in turn, work for Wall Street, as the head of the Naval War College gave a press conference and said, the New World Order, and they said that everyone will go in and be given their implanted chip. And they say, and at first people won't accept this, but you won't be able to have a job unless you have it. They're going to say, well, everybody's got the upgrade. Everybody's got the chip. Hell, you want to be able to play World of Warcraft, don't you? You want to be able uh, to fly an airplane. You want to be able to, they're already talking about within two years implanting the fighter pilots with this stuff. Or they'll say, sorry, Jack, you can't fly. It's all drones. You see, I'm not the one saying this. Do you know what it's like to read all these documents, to write books about them, to put links up to them, and then still be laughed at? So maybe you can't, you, maybe you can't believe that the Pentagon actually runs everything, and I mean even globally. Maybe you can't even understand what we're under, that a scientific dictatorship has taken over. Maybe you can't, and they don't have total control yet, but they will soon. Maybe you can't get that. But maybe you can get the fact that Mexico is making their people take chips. Here it is. The government of Mexico is highly critical of U.S. immigration policy, but it's taking extraordinary measures when it comes to its own immigration crisis. Mexico is taking drastic measures to control illegal immigration across its southern border. Now, Mexico will reportedly use an electronic chip to curb illegal immigration from Guatemala and Belize. The biochip implant will replace the so-called local pass currently being used to enter the country. In 2006, Mexico arrested 200,000 people trying to enter their country illegally. Okay, if you want to read the Wall Street Journal, AP, uh, the best articles got them all condensed together at truthnews.us by Kurt Nemo, uh, our webmaster and writer over on that side. Uh, but you can go and read all of that Look for at my yourself. police state stack here. Let me just go ahead and go to the police state stack and, and, and you know, just mention what I've got. Because there's no way to ever get into all this and how it all ties together. Mexico to microchip Central American migrants. Mexico to use biochip to control illegal immigration. Mexico to track migrants with electronic chip. Two workers have tracking chips implanted into them to work in the U.S., Ministry of Homeland Security program indoctrinates the 9-11 generation. That's uh, USA Today saying literal brainwashing in all the public schools. 
New super cameras mean no hiding for drivers who smoke, eat, or use mobile phone. You'll be arrested in the cities where they're implementing this. See, they're, they're AI computers. They recognize the activity, flag the cops. That stuff was in 10 years ago. All MIT, Pentagon designed, now public. <laughs> See, remember I was the guy warning you about all that, telling you? And it's not to keep you safe, Bubba. FBI to put criminals, security issues up in digital billboards like the Running Man. Huge billboards everywhere. Alex Jones, running from forces, refused to take security chip. Involved in terror attack. FBI to put criminals, security issues up in digital billboard lights. There he is, mad dog Ben Richards, the brutal slayer of 50 men, women, and children. Ready to go for broke on the running man. Who loves you and who do you love? We are literally entering this phase. We'll come back, go to your calls, get into more police state. The four states seceding with the Native Americans. The economy, total battle on your phone call. Stay with us.